and I'll let you guys know my experience in Boston. Black Girl Edition. She said, I think I'm going to Boston. I think I'll start a new life. Hey, Unicorns of YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so yes, we are in a different setting. This is my living room, and I just wanted to switch it up for today. Um, I don't know if I'll stick with this setup only because there's like a really big window we have here on the right of me and um, people are like staring in really hard so I don't really know if I want to record here in the future but let me know if you guys like this setup more than you like my tapestry in my other videos and I will keep that in mind and be sure to like switch it up for you. Also if you're watching this don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. For this video, we're talking about what it's really like living in Boston. Um, just because I feel like a lot of people have been seeing a particular YouTuber. I'm not going to mention her name, but she's great. Like, I love her and all. Um, but they've been seeing this particular YouTuber talk about Boston in the best way ever. And I mean, Boston is great, don't get me wrong. But I'm only having that as like my thoughts after being here for a year because my first year wasn't that great and she immediately is talking about how great this place is um she just moved here so i just want to let you guys know what my honest opinions are you should know more about the city instead of relying on someone else giving you their experience and it being like all you know rainbows and butterflies and all that like i'll tell you guys what my experience was and yeah if you guys still love it i mean obviously come I mean, not for me, but like, you know. But anyways, yeah, so I'll let you guys know my experience in Boston, Black Girl Edition. I'm just gonna list like five things. Um, number one, I would say making friends in Boston is pretty hard. Um, it's already hard making friends in general. And, it, you know, with the pandemic that made it even worse, obviously, but for me, when I first moved here, it wasn't the case where we were dealing with COVID. So I was already experiencing it, it being difficult making friends, let alone making friends during the pandemic. But yeah, when I first moved here last summer, um, I decided to go on Bumble BFFs. And like I've used that app before and it's worked in the past, like when I used to live in Philadelphia. Um, but here, I don't know. I feel like the people that are on that app are on that app for a reason. So, uh, but I've met up with maybe three people from Bumble BFFs. And if you guys don't know what that app is, it's amazing. It's the same app as Bumble, like the dating app, but this one is in the category for like BFFs. Um, so yeah, when you use that app, you just go in the section for um, Bumble BFFs and you just put your profile and there's like a series of questions and you can let people know like how long you've been in Boston or if you just moved here or how long you're going to be here, things like that. And you just swipe as if it's a normal dating app. This one is just for like friends. Um, I feel like everyone that I met on that app, some of them, like a majority of them have said that they've lived in Boston all their lives, but like they still don't have any friends. And that just shows you that the people here are, is, they're kind of like hard to talk to. Maybe coming from Philly and also like in, in New York for a bit, it's just, I'm used to people just um, talking to me in general, like it's an easy conversation. Like when I go outside, it's kind of hard for me to not talk to strangers because I'm just a friendly person. But I feel like here everyone is like, I gotta go somewhere, don't talk to me. And that's just not the kind of person I am. So even people that were living here for years had difficulties making friends. So if you're coming here, just know you gonna have some difficulties making friends. Number two would be there isn't that many black people here. Um, I like wow. I wasn't expecting it to be like this, but yeah, it's a lot of the times when I was walking around um in the city, you're like so awkward because I'm just not used to that. Like coming from Philly and New York, it's there's a lot of black people there. So here, it wasn't that many people that I could relate to. Number three would be, getting here is pretty hard. Just because I'm from, you know, Philly, people just kind of walk up to you and talk to you without you asking them to. I mean, obviously, you're not asking them to all the time. But like, in Philly and in New York, it's just 
common for people to disapproach you and here i was like wow did i go on the plane and get ugly along the way and then just like not realize it because no one really approaches you not often that people would approach you here so like if you are single and you're looking to date in boston i mean good luck and you kind of might have to go outside of your comfort zone just because of people here they're not going to talk to you number four would be that the rent here is high af okay it's high it's not low it's not medium it's high okay you're going to be dropping bank and it's not even going to be like the best apartment so i don't really have much to say on that so if you're coming here make sure you have money and a lot of it on number five i saved this for last because you know girls okay Finding a black hairstylist here is hard, okay? I had to like search on Instagram for so long. I was like, oh my God, what's gonna happen to me? What am I gonna look like now? Like I can't DIY for my hair because I haven't done that in forever. So now I had to go on a little scavenger hunt to find a hairstylist and I'm so happy I found a good hairstylist because she's amazing. Um, I've linked her in my bio before, like if you watched my microlink hair extension experience video. Um, I went to my stylist, her name is London. She also has a YouTube channel in case you guys want to check her out. So that's my story. That's my thoughts on Boston. Um, just so you guys know what it's really like living here in case you guys were interested. I really do feel like my second year here has been great. I've met so many great friends at this new job that I'm working at. I love it here so much now and I just wish that I could actually like do things and you know COVID wasn't making things a little bit weird and it's hard to hang out with someone in their home and feel comfortable because you know they do they got COVID but yeah I feel like when you find the job that you like and you get the co-workers that you like like all that stuff is going to make your experience a lot better and who knows you might like it so yeah thanks so much for watching guys um I'll see you guys in my next video leave a comment below I'm going to be doing shout outs now in my videos so if you guys want a chance to be um, featured in future videos just leave a comment below um, I'll pick whatever ones I like and then I'll put them in the beginning of the video and yeah so that's it <laughs> bye